Hello everybody, welcome to another Undead Overexplained video. Got dwarves here who've chosen to kick. Obviously nobody likes playing against dwarves. They are always horrible to play against. <laughs> uh, he's got a couple of guard. He's got a couple of slayers. Obviously we're going to try and hit the slayers every opportunity we get. And uh, yeah, but got a few guards now anyway, so that's good, isn't it? Um, having the guards here is really great. Out guard him, out strength him. Obviously he's got the block, he's got more block players. And the sneaky git isn't going to be a very good fowler in this game. And having so many ghouls isn't going to be quite as good. I guess we can bench one ghoul here. I think I still score on the ghoul, right, to get him to dirty player. So the sneaky gate is just the ball carrier this game. And uh, protect against the blitz a bit. Like don't really need to because they're dwarves. But still might as well. Like this kind of this kind of defends against the blitz. I'm not. I'm not going to foul even with sneaky git. There's just no point. He's, he's armor nine. Well, armor ten plus, and he's got uh, thick skulls. There's really no point fouling. I'll just try and get more more SPP on him to get into sneaky git dirty player. Yep. It's a good argument. For going with somebody else, but I'm just going to go with him. So I'm scoring him. Okay, so first things first, move him up. Amazing. Two D, three D. This one. Wonderful. Magical. Oh, I'm so happy. We all love dwarves. We all absolutely love dwarves so much. Okay, he's stunned. I can't even blitz this guy now, can I? I could have followed and then blitzed him, but I'd have to dodge away, so I didn't really want to do that. Probably have to make a blitz, right? Like, you just probably have to, right? It, it can pay off, so you've probably got to try it. That's a shame. Shame to not get a knockdown there, but a stun's kind of okay. Hello, Alma Forever. <laughs> Hate this game. <laughs> Finally played it. I recommend getting an auto clicker. Uh, Alma Forever. I recommend getting an auto clicker. And, uh, oh. PS Plus, right? Ah, so that's different. Um, so if you've got it on PC, get an auto clicker, and then set it so it does like seven clicks in tenth of a second, and then a <laughs> hundredth of a second, whatever it is, and then you just do like six clicks, so you can actually stand your players up. Uh, seven actually, I've got, I've got seven clicks, and then so I can just like and then map it to my mouse, so I can actually stand players up with a single click. Because it's so stupid, isn't it? Olivia, let me cobblestone. Well, that's, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> that is bad. Probably not winning that one. So, okay, so the priority number one is to hit slayers. 
Slayers are the players you have to hit because they are the idiots that are armorate. So you're massively more likely to remove them. So I could put guard in and then blitz this guy. No, that's wrong, isn't it? Because I know. Okay, so I'm just punching everybody, right? I'm just punching everybody. Assist in there, block was block. Assist in here, block was block. Blockless block. I mean, what? Somebody's gonna blitz. That's a blockless block. So this guy blitzes somewhere. I think he blitzes in the center there, right? Because I block, 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 and then blitz. Yeah. Good. Keep him on the ghoul because he hasn't got uh, he hasn't got tackle. Wonderful removal. Look a dog, Jim. Oh, I didn't need the assist because I, I can follow here. I'm not going to, though. Oh, yes. Okay, this block. Okay, I'm going to put the guard in there. And then do this block. Yep, 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 yep. And then this one can block him. Blitz him even. Safe block with block, right? No chance of going wrong. And then that gives us the 3D there. I think I want to stay next. I want to keep the mummies next to each other. <laughs> Another AV break. And then push him into the mummy. Okay, that was incredible, wasn't it? A KO in, and a, two stuns and a KO. And <laughs> did a pretty good, yeah. Pretty good having strength five dudes with Mighty Blow. Getting three dice hits with Mighty Blow is pretty good. I mean, just pure luck on the on the KO there, but... He did base very aggressively, right? He gave up lots of hits, knocked lots of players down. Uh, did have to use a reroll. Funnily enough, on the on the safest block, <laughs> the safest block was where the reroll came. Did a did a bunch of blockless blocks, and then the block did the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, to me. Yeah. He might get his uh, Slayer surfed here, right? This is a frenzy trap. He's not getting surfed because he got instant full power. Of course he does. A skull there. Into a skull. Lovely jubbly. Where do his players? Where's his guard? One of his guards is down. This is a 3D to free the block. I 
So I'll put him there because he's protected by the guard. Move this guy over here as a safe move. Oh, it's really not safe though because... I could surf him, couldn't I? But then I get counter surf, which isn't great. Mm. Yeah, if I surf the runner, then then my uh... oh no, he doesn't, does he? Because I can tag him there. So I blitz there. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI block him off, follow, and then I'm all right. All right, yeah, okay. We'll do the 3D first. to uh, put him there, don't I? It's a 1D unless I follow him. Maybe I have to follow him. Oh, he should have gone there ages ago, right? Or even like up here now. I don't really want it. Like, what can he do? He can block him and chain him off and then get a hit on the ball. I guess I've got to go there. Yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? That was a pretty good turn. That was a pretty good turn. Yeah, strength five mighty blow without long. Yeah, it's incredible. Like the mummies are absolutely incredible. It sucks that I'm getting punched by a troll slayer though. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> he's just chained. He's just failed the. Uh, just failed the rush there. Amazing. Right. Well, punch him to there, and then okay, we've got to move this guy. Move this guy. No, he's doing the surf. Okay. These got both go. Oh, he wants to do the blitz though, right? He blocks. This is all a disaster. Okay. Well, that's all alright. I didn't really want to like you know risk anything at all, so 
kind of makes sense in a way. Um, I think this is a better hit, isn't it? the armor eight, remove him. Good. Okay, good. Okay, I'm down to five minutes. I've got, to, I've got to try and talk less and talk. Talk less. Talk, talk in the opponent's turn, because I've got all this time now, haven't I, to talk about that turn. So yeah, that was... Uh, I messed up the surf a bit. I wanted to move somebody over there just to just to make it a bit safer, right? But I, I'm already miles away. I didn't need to do that. I should have I should have just moved him up and then gone for the, gone for the surf. Right, so now I just need to not get the uh, ghouls hit at all. the only, you know, try and maximise the money hits on either Slayers or Guards, which one Slayer's KO'd and one Guard is KO'd, so that's going pretty well. And he's not standing up, which is lovely. This is what's happening here is I'm not really thinking about anything I'm doing at all. Like actually at all. Which isn't great, is it? But this is what happens <laughs> when you've just definitely won. <laughs> and they're like, you know, not concentrating very much and letting it slip. Um I feel like it's very easy to do. Um, I can't afford... I didn't want to leave these two on, on the Slayer, but at the end of the day, um, I kind of have to, right? Because he doesn't have Tackle. Um, and they do, so I've got to... I can't afford to put the Ghouls on the blocker on the God Trip Skulls. Oh my god, <laughs> one away from Hexa Skulls. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, and I guess, funnily enough, I could have fouled right if I didn't have the ball in the sneaky git. The fact that there's been two KOs made could have actually fouled at this point. But, um, flip me. That was ridiculous. Right, I have to start going faster. Oh, that's pretty annoying, but never mind. If I'd actually thought about this turn a bit more, like, you know, he wouldn't have had that hit, right? But never mind. Anyway, um, yeah, 3D. Instant. Pow. Good. Assist. Block with blow. No, don't block with block. Zombie on him. A push. Uh, he can block him now. Good. And then he can 3D him. Blitz him. We did manage to knock everybody down. Haven't lost it too much there. 
But yeah, hilariously now, I actually could have been fouling. But I didn't expect to knock everybody down and remove two, right? Got pretty good dice. So there you go. Yeah, I need I need a logo for like the official ladder, don't I? That's what I do do need because I've got a logo for the the other things like BBSL and NAF and the game against the games against Sol. Yeah, I want sneaky sneaky dirty as soon as possible, and then skill the others. <laughs> Well, also, I didn't think he was going to foul this game, right? So, like, if it was another game, like, I want him, I want a sneaky, get dirty player, but I'm not going to foul against dwarves, I thought. Um, I thought I was going to foul against dwarves, but it turns out I banged him out and I could have fouled, like, you know, I completely crushed him, I could have fouled him. So that was definitely a factor in the decision. Uh, he's not going to score, is he? So we can go for this kind of formation. Right, how many has he got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a chance of him having ten players for the second half. Thanks, Christopher. Yeah, I don't know. Jesus Christ. I was gonna do BBT today, but then I realised I had the weekly <laughs> the weekly goal for the undead, so I might as well um might as well complete that. Get a few of these over explained things in and then do fumble another day. I think I'm going to do a blood, a blood Bowl tactics. A black box trophy run. I think I'll do uh, I think I'll do vampires dwarves and dark elves and then ogres. <laughs> <laughs> And then ogres. And then I might not play the ogres, right? <laughs> so then I've got like three teams that could win the Steel Gauntlet with vampires, dark elves, and dwarves. I've got three teams that could get top of their race, win Steel Gauntlet. And then I've got, uh, you know, and I could also like do a run at the end. Uh, I could also do a run for the uh, trophy itself. Uh, Chaos Renegades aren't free, are they? I think it's Ogres, Goblins, or Halflings. Other three bad ones. Yeah, it's Goblin, Halfling, Ogre. I mean, Halflings might be better, to be fair, I don't know. But I think Ogres are probably the best, and I like Ogres a bit. I've played more Ogres. I'm okay with Ogres. Okay, so the, he doesn't regen from that cars, but it's still got tw still got eleven. But yeah, four ghouls are pretty uh, pretty squishy versus the dwarves. Hopefully, he stays on ten. Nope, he gets back to eleven. So this might just be a loss here. Well, not a loss, a draw. So we're definitely just going to rule a five now because I have four ghouls. Oh yeah, draw is a loss for the challenge. Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, standard rule of five. This is okay, isn't it? Protects the ghouls. Giving dwarves the flanks doesn't matter. So yeah, with those two KOs, I was very confident, but now that the KOs, both KOs have come back and he's made a Kaz, it's all of a sudden 
I mean, his cast doesn't even matter, right? But it's just very easy for him to remove a couple on offense, and then it's going to look very bad. Oh. Um. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan. I'll be honest, Christopher B. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, they've got one that's like black and white, haven't they? They've got the one for like, you know, the season finals and stuff. I might do something like that. But thanks, though. I like it like, you know, more square. And I think that shield that they've got for that, yeah, I'll do something like that. Okay, stun. Okay, oh, instantly down to 10. This is the problem. A big problem with Undead, right? They've, they've got armor 9 plus players, defenseless. They get removed pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, the fact that it's the fact that it's smaller in front, yeah. Like I like, you know, I like I, I can I can put them on because people have got brains, haven't they? They'll, they'll know it's not wrong. But you know, I like that the BBSL one there and the NAF ladder and the chalice, right? They're all kind of do you know what I mean? They're all kind of like and I've also got the NAF. Just the NAF logo somewhere. But they're all kind of like, you know, the same kind of shape in the same thing. Into a 1D. Right, well. We could try and go for the ball here. The ball pressure. And how the blocks go. So if I pow this guy and I put a guard in there and then blitz him, then there's a there's not a path through, is there? There's not a path through. I've got that block. Blitz him, blitz him. Blitz him. Blitzing a white did seem better, yes. The problem is I don't expose the, the mummies because they'll just get they'll just get wrecked a bit, won't they? So block with block first. Wonderful. You can actually stay there, can't you? Big frenzy trap here. It's alright, isn't it? It's not nice that he can get the guard in, but then he can't get around to get 2D on the mummy, so it's not easy to get 2D on the mummy. Can't hit the ghoul that's there. Oh, he can blitz to get that guard in. But he can't get another guard in, can he? And he can't get around. I guess he'll just 1D pal the mummy. Instant full pal! Oh, GFI to get him round. Okay, so he can get him round.
Maybe I could have put that ghoul here to stop the assist going all the way. I just didn't think he could, he could get all the way around. I'll be honest, I didn't count squares or anything. I just didn't think he could do it. He likes basing, doesn't he? He does like the basing. like to blitz the uh, Slayer, but I've got to just blitz the guy in the end, I think. Get the money. Get the money in. This is a nice push from him, to be fair. That's pretty good, isn't it? The two Slayers out there. These two can stand up now, though. Just re-roll if I fail. I don't know where these ghouls should be. Getting problem is you can get the guard in 2D the mummy, isn't it? I can't really stop that. Ugh. Annoying. I guess maybe I should have followed with this guy, eh? Just to eat the action. I didn't want to just get punched for no reason, but I guess it would have eaten the action. You know, kind of chevron -y to not get surfed. And far enough back that the tackler couldn't hit the ghoul. Please regen. Good. God, dwarves are so annoying, aren't they? They're just literally so annoying. I mean, this is like extreme odds for a ball sack right now. He's not two dicing that mummy, is he, anymore? One D pal, wonderful. Another AV break, another removal. <laughs> Three removals this half. Uh, 
yeah, it was two. I think it was. I don't know. It could have been a. Two, it could have been a two. And, it could be a two and a two. I, I honestly don't know. Does all of that, and then does the crucials? Oh my god, that's ludicrous, isn't it? Does two relevant, the two relevant blocks? I did not expect him to even attempt this, right? Because why would you do the two relevant blocks? And then do that. Like, that was insane. Like, I don't know what's going through somebody's mind <laughs> if they make those blocks and then actually do the GFIs, right? Like, if you if you didn't... Because like, this, like, this was crazy, right? Like, this guy goes in there... He goes there, he 2Ds him, powers him, and then he sacks. Like, it was an easy sack. It's just literally an easy sack. So I'm thinking it's going to happen. And then, apparently, he knew all along that that was possible. And just didn't give a shit about fixing it until right at the end. I've got 1D on the ball. Which isn't great, is it? But, like, I'm so fucked now that I think I have to try it. If I get a power, I've got one day on the ball. Okay. Oh my god, I don't even have it! I, I just miss saw. I just miss saw. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uphill him for a push. Easy. Nope. Oh, I just don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I didn't see that this was a screen at all. For some reason. Maybe I just thought that this mummy was going to hit both of them. <laughs> Maybe I thought, I'll block that guy, then I'll block this guy. And I'll look at that, a free serve from Jim. He might score early at this point. Because he thinks I'm a complete idiot. So this 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 could be a really good... This could be a really good... Oh wow, my opponent's a complete moron, I'll go for the win. You know, let, let's hope so. Touchdown, idiot bait, that's what this was. Trick your opponent into believing you're a complete moron. It's worked, oh yes. Well done, opponent. Fell into my trap. Okay, nine players. <laughs> you probably would, Dimmy. Yeah, you probably would. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, it was just definitely Super Meta Man game. It was definitely wasn't not seeing that that was a six plus dodge. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a good idea, Dementor. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so this is very doable, right? Even with only two rerolls, five turns. Very, very, very doable. Very doable. Got the guard back. So just down two zombies. Well, and essentially one, right? It's still ten players. Get a bang with my e blow. If he ever sets up. <laughs> Uh, that's good, that's an extra touchdown for the ghoul as well, the ghoul. The sneaky get ghoul, so this has all worked out perfectly. Just as planned. In the end zone. Isn't great, is it? 
it's not a touchback. Annoying. Do I say Google weird? Google? A gowl? Full instant ghoul. <laughs> oh my god, yes, yes, removals. Yes. No, oh, you power apples. Oh my god. All of the AV bricks, amazing. Okay, before I do that, this guy there, this guy here, this, these guys are in good spots. We've got a great screen. I have to reroll the pickup, I guess, because it could go in the crowd. I guess I have to. Goes in the crowd. And I didn't have to reroll it. Well, shit. Um, I don't think they can know, because when I was playing Sol, he was gone. I can go here or here or here, and I wasn't seeing anything, so I imagine you can't know. The three stuns are incredible, aren't they? It would be a lot better if I had the ball and had more than one reroll. That's one turn, two turn. Yeah, so I'm four turns away. It's okay, it's okay, but I really need to pick up the ball next turn. <laughs> I have run out of teams I can play, but I think Sol has also run out of teams he can play, to be fair. Stay there. Geofying would be better to put the guard on him because otherwise he can just punch him and then surf him, right? So this GFI is incredible, but with one reroll, I can't risk it. He has to stay three on one in over there. He has to just eat this. He has to make the screen there. I guess I have to block here. Do I have to block with him first? No, I have to I have to try the pick up. Thank God. Right, you're telling me there's a chance. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Imagine trying to pick up before fouling, Dimmy. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, this is what I expect the first half. The first half was incredible with all the kills. The second half, he's just battered me. Absolutely battered me. Absolutely battered me this game. Well, the second half, not all game, only the second half. So at least, at least I got the free score in the first half. A draw would be okay here if it wasn't for the the weekly, <laughs> the weekly uh, challenge. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember calcium failing tons. Like it was ridiculous. It was something like you know ten pickups in a row. Like five turns with sure hands. He just constantly failed. annoying if he just throws one bees he's all right here but what can he do oh, he just gets a full pow it's a full pow unbelievable full pow i just want normal dice oh and he gets the dauntless off and gets the full pow oh my god and stunned Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna lose! <laughs> not only am I not gonna win, <laughs> I'm going to actively lose. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay. <sighs> oh, no, he's got guard. Fuck me. He's got guard. Oh, well, I can... Oh, he's got guard. Oh, no. Why does he have guard? I can 1D this guy? I can 2D power him. If I power him, it's okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just power this guy. Will not power him. Like, I'm not exactly out distancing anybody either, am I? I can, like, go into kind of a cage there. Not really. I think it's here. No, it's not. There's nowhere. There's nowhere I can go. So it's a potato. To there, which is just eminently catchable by everybody. I just have to one D. I just have to one D here. Good. Oh. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got a double GFI handoff to him. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI to there. No, there's nowhere I can go. There? Can I go there? Kind of. <laughs> of course it's a one and nine. Well, there you go. I mean, I was at the point where I had to go for a dodge, I think. I, I don't think I could have used the blitz to clear him and then, like, go safer. I think I had to, like, make the blitz to get forward and ahead. Because I want to win, right? I don't care about losing. Because I'm trying to do the daily challenges. <laughs> um, if I was just trying to escape with a draw, I guess I'd blitz the blitzer with the free ghoul and then uh, just, like, run back, right? Run back and try and screen uh, and then maybe try and run run the other way when they come for me it's probably what I'm trying to do if I can get out with the draw but I don't want to get out with the draw I want to, I want to try and go for the win of course yep Opens his turn <laughs> with a one into uphill. <laughs> why? Why wouldn't that be how you started your turn? <laughs> I am. Feeling very Artemis like right now. I have to say. Just passes it for no reason. Incredible. He blocks him. Of course it fails. <laughs> ah! I mean, I... Maybe I had to re-roll that. Oh, the zombie, the mummy can double GFI. Okay, the mum, the 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 mummy can double GFI. Blitz, pow, and then he runs back. Yeah, okay, okay. Might as well stand him. You know. Perfect. I uh, don't want to follow right because, yeah. Okay. Ghoul goes to there. That's a six plus. That 
to five plus. Can I just run away after I pick it up? No, no, there's nowhere to go. It has to be this. It's the only possible play. Rolled a six on the pass. Need a four plus. If I powered him, I would have caught it. Oh, I've caught it. All right. Yes! Yes! <laughs> he can base. He can base. If I GFI, I score, right? If I GFI, I score. That has to be better. That maybe wasn't better. <laughs> because maybe he wouldn't have known what to do to even base the ball, right? Given some of the decisions that have happened in the game, no offence. <laughs> but like that random pass for no reason and stuff. And like the opening with an uphill blitz on the an uphill block on the slayer. But like, I mean, come on, all he had to do was put in two players, block, and then double GFI. And then I'm worse getting base by tackle, right? Because then it's then it's a three plus. So, um, yeah. He was basically guaranteed to tag me if he did. And he's done it anyway, right? He's done, he's done that anyway. So he would have been able to put in two assists and make a block. And then it's just a double GFI to tag. And then it's a three plus. So, um... So yeah. Oh, except no, because he, yeah, he wouldn't make it thirty percent of the time. He wouldn't. Have, he's got no rerolls, so he only gets there seventy percent of the time. And then I'd be what two thirds of seventy. What's two thirds of seventy? Wait, no, thirty plus the thirty. So two thirds of seventy, what's that like? Forty four forty six. Yeah, so forty six, so seventy six. So it's still better to do the two plus, isn't it? It's still I still just had to do the GFI. I had to do I had to do the GFI. So the GFI was correct. Hit to do the GFI. I hit to. No, I definitely have to do the GFI. So, like, this is assuming that he does the right move, uh, Slim. If he, assuming he does the right move, there's the thirty percent chance, seventy percent chance he gets there, right? And then, oh wait, no, did I do it wrong? Thirty percent of the time I score, isn't it? Not that it works. Or thirty percent of the time. So I, yeah, thirty percent of the time I score, and seventy percent of the time he gets there. Then when he gets there, I'm only forty-six percent the score, plus thirty percent of the time. So I'm seventy-six percent the score. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, slim, right? But I had a five in six to get clear, and he had two one in sixes to tag me. So if he tags me, so he's seventy percent to tag me. If he tags me, I'm forty six percent to score. I'm I'm forty six of that seventy to score, right? 
and then 30 I'd just score anyway. So I'm 76% to score if I let him tag me. If I let him attempt to tag me, I'm 76 to score. If I GFI, I'm 83 to score. So it was, it was absolutely correct to do the GFI, mathematically. Assuming he would find the correct play, which really you have to assume your opponent will find the correct play, right? Like you just have to. You can't just uh, hope that they don't, you know, make a two dice block and then attempt to double GFI. Yeah, so, so it was absolutely correct. It was absolutely correct to do the GFI. There's no way that he wouldn't have made a two dice block and then tagged me, right? He would have definitely tried it. If there was a chance of him not trying it, then uh, then it becomes dodgy. But, you know, the 2D is like a 1 in 36. So it's not really making much difference, is it? We're, we're taking 3% off. So there's a, th there's a 3, and then I, I couldn't be bothered to work out 30% of 97. But yeah, it's it's still it's it's far enough away, right? With seventy six to eighty three is far enough away. So um, yep, yep. There you go. That was, it was definitely correct to do the GFI. It was a hundred percent. I'm not going to keep arguing with somebody who's wrong. It was definitely correct. Um, so that's it. Uh, what can you do? I mean, I got really lucky to roll all the dice to pass it to him and then run away, didn't I? But uh, unfortunately, it was not to be. Right, thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.